Now let's do the step. Number nine, mirror work. I often emphasize the importance of mirror work in order to find out the cause of an issue that keeps us from loving ourselves. There are several ways that you can practice mirror work. Hello, this is Louise Hay. How to love yourself. For many of you who have been working on loving yourselves, and for those of you who are just beginning, I'm going to explore some ways to help you learn how to love yourselves. I call it my 10 steps, and I have sent thousands of people this list over the years. In today's video, I'm going to dive into one important step that will help you on your journey of self-love. But don't worry, this is just the beginning. In the following videos, I'll be sharing the remaining nine steps to guide you towards cultivating a deep and genuine love for yourself. Now let's to the step number nine, mirror work. I often emphasize the importance of mirror work in order to find out the cause of an issue that keeps us from loving ourselves. There are several ways that you can practice mirror work. I like to look in the mirror the first thing in the morning and say to myself, I love you. What can I do for you today? How can I make you happy? Listen to your inner voice and start following through with what you hear. You may not get any messages to begin with because you're so used to scolding yourself and you don't know how to respond with a kind, loving thought. If something unpleasant happens to you during the day, go to the mirror and say, I love you anyway, because events come and go, but the love that you have for yourself can be constant, and it is the most important quality you possess in your life. If something wonderful happens, go to the mirror and say thank you. Acknowledge yourself for creating this wonderful experience. You can forgive in the mirror too. Forgive yourself and forgive others. You can talk to other people in the mirror, especially when you're afraid to talk to them in person. You can clean up old issues with people, parents, bosses, doctors, children, lovers. You can say all sorts of things that you would be afraid to say otherwise. And remember to end by asking them for their love and approval, because that is what you really want. People who have problems loving themselves are almost always people who are not willing to forgive because not forgiving shuts the door to the heart. When we forgive and let go, not only does a huge weight drop off our shoulders, but the doorway to our own self-love opens up. People will say, oh, such a load is dropped off. Well, of course it has, because we've been carrying this burden forever. Dr. John Harrison states, that forgiveness of both the self and the parents, coupled with the release of past hurts, cures more illness than any antibiotic ever could. It takes a lot to make children stop loving their parents, but when they do, it takes even more for them to forgive them. When we won't forgive, when we won't let go, we're binding ourselves to the past. And when we are stuck in the past, we cannot live in present time. And if we are not living in the present, how can we create our glorious future? Old garbage from the past just creates more garbage for the future. Affirmations performed in front of a mirror are advantageous because you learn the truth of your existence. When you do an affirmation and you immediately hear a negative response such as, who are you kidding, or it can't be true, or you don't deserve that, then you have received a gift to use. You cannot make the changes you want until you are willing to see what is holding you back. The negative response you have just discovered is like a gift in that it becomes the key to freedom. Turn that negative response into a positive affirmation, such as, I now deserve all good. I allow good experiences to fill my life and repeat the new affirmation until it does become a new part of your life. I have also seen families change enormously when just one person does affirmations, 
Many people at the Hayride come from estranged families. Their parents literally will not talk to them. And I've had them repeat the affirmation, I have wonderful, loving, warm, open communication with every member of my family, including my mother or including my father. Every time that person or the family comes to mind, I suggest that they go to the mirror and say the affirmation over and over again. It's often amazing to see the parents actually show up at the meeting three or six or nine months later. And we've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this concentrated dose of knowledge and inspiration. As mentioned, this was just one of the 10 steps that I'll be sharing with you to help you cultivate deep and genuine self-love. If you want to continue on this journey of self-discovery and growth, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Each video will be like a wisdom pill to boost your self-love journey. Thank you so much for being here today. Remember, you are worthy, deserving, and capable of embracing and loving yourself unconditionally. Keep shining your light, and I'll see you in the next video. Are you ready to embark on a journey of timeless wisdom and artistry? Don't miss this opportunity to share the power of wisdom and artistry. Get your copy of Wisdom's Legacy, a gift of inspiration today and ignite the spark of inspiration in the hearts of your loved ones. Discover the perfect gift that will touch the hearts of your loved ones and inspire them for years to come. Immerse yourself in 50 captivating AI-generated images, beautifully complemented by profound quotes from visionaries. Available now on Amazon. Get your copy today and share the joy of this unforgettable journey with your loved ones.